Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back here very quickly to share with you some of my travel tips um, while I was on our trip. And I don't know about y'all, but I love travel tips. And um, I learn from so many people here on YouTube. So I thought I would just share some things. Um, the first thing we discovered, if you follow my Instagram, you know, um, we discovered Wawa Coffee. I learned about it on YouTube. We are in love. We are begging Wawa to come to Texas, which I don't know if they ever will. The most amazing coffee bar I've ever been through. You go through, it's just like a, it's a gas station with a place where you can order food, and then they have fresh food you can buy, like literally cut up salads, fruit salads, orange juice, all that ready to roll. And then they have the typical like regular water, all that kind of good stuff there. We fell in love with their coffee. But the number one tip take your own coffee cup. It got so cold in their store cup. Um, I always carry coffee cup um, or a travel cup. My husband carries one. We have each have our color and I also carry one for water and I guess I should pull that out too. But anyways, um, this was invaluable. Um, it Once I put my coffee in here, I could sip on it for a long time and I was totally good to go. So Number one, take your own teacup, coffee cup, whatever it is that you drink. And, of course, I drink hot tea as well, so it works both ways. The second thing I took were I always carry wipes because I have um, autoimmune issues and, and I have really bad skin. So I have to be really careful, like, where I put my arms and all of that. If you ever see me in real life, I usually wear long sleeves because even in the summer because... I um I can literally put my hand on my arm on something and if somebody used a certain kind of cleanser on like a like a restaurant table I will literally you know have a reaction so anyway so one of the things I took because my wipes that I make homemade I use um kind of a homemade remedy you know homemade cleaning thing and I just put on top of like baby wipes and that's what we use for wipes for the house but it has vinegar in it and so it smells you know so when I'm out I found these. At TJ Maxx and I bought every one they had and they're just lavender oil infused facial towelettes I took these everywhere with me because um, nobody wants to smell my other wipes because they smell like vinegar and even though I put essential oils in them they still smell like vinegar so I loved these I took these everywhere and I you know I paid $2.99 that may be a little high but they're really um, really small so you kind of get a you know you feel like you get a lot for it so anyways and I just carried this with me and put it on my little table and you know I just had them with me at the at the conference um, love these perfect to travel with another thing that I highly recommend I found this bag just by happenstance at um, oh, Best Buy I went in there to pick up a of all things a CD player and I saw this and I thought, oh, that is so cute. I'm going to, I'm going to get that. And I've got another bag that it matches and I'll show you. Um, anyways, and of course it has pink on the inside. And this is where I carried our like little quickie Polaroid um, camera. It really was fun. We did like a picture a day at least. And it was always for the family. I was able to just tuck my pictures that I took right in there. All my spare film. And I just have it loaded. I have my vitamins in there <laughs> anyways. And then a nice... Um, these are the toddy wipes um, or lens cleaners excellent you buy one you'll have it forever and um, so I keep that in there and I am ready to go and I mean there were days like I stuck things on top like my sunglasses all of that and I'll show you see so long story short loved this perfect 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 for travel um, and it just literally fits on you know your arm like a purse or you can just carry it like a handbag whichever way you like Okay, and I think I paid $19.99 for that. Another thing I learned on my trip is that, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, when I was trying that other color on, my nails are really long. And I went as a treat before the trip to get a pedicure, and at the last minute I thought, oh, I'll get a manicure too. I never do that. I've, I've had like four in my life. My pedicure is phenomenal. She did a phenomenal job. Um, it was a new place here in town. Loved it. When I got to my nails, bless her heart, she started, and I could tell she doesn't do it often, she scrubbed the top of my nails with a coarse brush, like I think when you do um, 
faux nails and I can't wear acrylic nails. I'm allergic to them and I can't do gel nails. I can't do any of that fun stuff. So literally I had five broken nails before we ever got in the car to go. And then by the time we came home, they literally broke. And if you, you probably can't even see, you can still see the scrubbing though. I did try to buff that out. Um, it, it broke every one of my nails and some below the quick. So, um, and, and sometimes people ask me what color my nail polish is. This is Sally Hansen Color Therapy. It's the Argon Oil. I love these. I used Zoya only before. Totally bought these. They condition your nails. And right now my nails are a total wreck. And this color is number 170 Glow with the Flow. And it kind of is coppery, rose goldy. I love that. So anyways, so I learned a trick. Just carry on nail polish, put it in the pocket of your bag, and you're good to go. Another thing, I take my laptop with me, though we had terrible internet at the hotel. Um, I also take my tablet with me, and my tablet's tied to our phone, so that kind of helps. And it's really old and grubby, but anyways, uh, just a real quick trip uh, tip is that I just take this and stick it in my handbag. And it literally fits in, and that's what I take with me, or my carry-on bag. We have carry-on bags, we have, you know, our regular suitcases, so... This is what I take with me everywhere, and it is definitely showing its age, but you know what? It takes a licking and keeps on ticking. So, an excellent thing if you have to get internet, get on the internet at different places, and you don't want to pull your laptop out, this is a great tool to use. And I'm sure you guys all know that. But anyways, and my other tip I've got here, my sweet husband has a thing. We live in the outlet. We live near outlet malls. And he loves fancy schmancy purses. So this is a coach, but this was clearanced. And um, clearanced at the outlet mall, plus they had a huge sale. So we paid a fraction, a very small fraction of the original price. So at the same time, I needed a wallet. And I decided, you know, you have the ones that are like that big. And I've really enjoyed those. But it was never big enough. Like, I couldn't put my phone in. I couldn't put my credit cards in. I couldn't put my cash in. This is what I carry. I love this. I carry my it in my purse. And when I need to run into a store or run in, like we were sightseeing, I would just pull this out, zip up my purse, and leave that in the car. Um, this was a lifesaver. I could put it around my hand. And for those of you who don't know, I... Had to use a cane for part of the trip. I could even use, you know, use my cane and hold this. It wasn't a big deal. Super, super easy peasy. And I highly encourage, this one has, you know, slots for credit cards, all that. I even have my pen. I can eat, I put a lipstick in it. I even can put, like, my sunglasses. If I take them out of the case, will fit down in there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Loved it. Again, paid a small amount for it. Another tip take more than one set of sunglasses, um, especially when you're going to Florida, um, though it rained the whole time we were there, and um, there were sunny days, and I have those, you know, fashionable ones that go over your glasses, and my husband, you know, when we wear contacts, whatever, but I love these, and these were so easy, because I don't know about you when you travel, I am a glasses girl most of the time now, these are great, my husband bought some that were polarized at Academy and it came with a really nice case and everything and when he saw mine he was like I'm gonna buy yours and I I have one set of sunglasses that are in a really nice glasses case and then I have these these are my backup guess got what got worn more or you know what got used more or my backup because I immediately lost my case I don't know about you it takes me forever to find the right size glasses these were just like 13 14 bucks at Walmart um, these are the kind that hook on um, they're not the rimmed ones they're without a rim and they fit my glasses the best so my main tip is carry two things of sunglasses on trip when you travel oh look here there's my other set of sunglasses without the case <laughs> okay I obviously stuck them in my pocket well I have to find the case Anyways, long story short, that was a good thing, and I also carry, like, extra vitamin packets. I make sure I make mine up for my husband and I, and then I just carry those in my purse. I also carry, sorry, my purse is a total wreck. I carry flossers. When you are in a car for, like, 10 hours, and you're eating, like, whatever, um, whatever you can find to eat, um, totally, everybody's always asking, do you have any dental floss? Love these. 
So I carry that and another thing I carry, <laughs> one thing, BioFreeze. Um, my back went out at the conference the very last day. I was so mad. Um, I was so thankful I have this. With my arthritis, I use this sometimes on my knees and, you know, whatever joint is bothering me. I was so thankful I had this. Um, I care, I have like two or three of these in my house. I have them in different places because, anyways, long story short, you know, you got to have it. The only thing I will tell you is the soothing menthol. It smells like menthol. You know, if you're okay with that, there's your perfume for the day. All right, so I think that's pretty much it in this bag. And, oh, no. I ordered a case of these from Amazon and took them. These are fantastic. Xylitol, I don't do fake sugar, and I'm sure people are going to tell me xylitol is not good, and I hope it's okay. Um, but anyways, I, I, I'm allergic to aspartame and Splenda and all of those, and so um, I, can, I can do this, and it's pretty low calories. I think it's 2.4 calories for a piece. So long story short, love these. They're very, very, very minty. And it really, the um, the taste lasted for a long time. And it was really, 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 really great. It's gluten-free and sugar-free and naturally sweetened. Hands down, excellent tool. Um, and again, I ordered them by the case so I could just pass everybody out a package and I didn't have to keep doling gum the whole time. All right. Now, last but not least, while we were in New Orleans. Oh, I have one more after this. Sorry. Second to last but not least, we were in New Orleans. Um, my husband sometimes gets sports cars from work, you know, like directors will want to trade out. And I have these big old floppy hats and he, and I, you know, I just always want, you know, the, the sun, you know, to get a little protected from the sun. So we were there and I didn't have my floppy hat. It was packed in my suitcase. Why I didn't have it, I do not know. And my youngest had her hat, but we saw these hats. And these were, we got this at the gift shop in um, uh, Oak Alley Plantation. How great is that hat? And mine had um, the anchor. My youngest daughter had one that was coral. And I can't remember what her little doodad was. I can't remember. And then my other daughter got the one that was like, um, like mint green. Anyways, these were fantastic. And what's great about it is you can lean back. Because this is cut out, it's adjustable fit, no doubt. But you can lean back if you're sitting somewhere and kind of rest your head. And when you are walking, I don't know how many miles we walked on that plantation. And then we did the tour of the house, of course. And it was so hot. I mean, it was, you know, we're on the Mississippi River. It's Louisiana. It's summer in June. It is hot, 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 and humid. And because this is cut out, it was fantastic. It was so much cooler. And then we would take it off, put them together like that, and we would fan ourselves. <laughs> so this sweet little hat took a licking, kept on ticking, and then when we got into the car, this will always be my travel hat. I will never take another hat. And I have, like, I don't know, a ridiculous amount of hats. Um, and then you just... You know, put the little band on it and you know, and then do what you want to save the ribbon, I, you know. And you may not want the ribbon, you can take the ribbon off. But I absolutely loved these. And I think these were like $29. I imagine you can find something very similar like this on Amazon. When you are somewhere and you are short, something that is a tool to help you be able to last throughout. Because we had to go look at, there was a tent exhibit, there were... Um, slaves quarter cabins there were there was an um, uh, like a honorary wall to all of the slaves that had been, had been on that plantation which I was so it was so heartbreaking and yet I was so thankful that they were given um, due diligence you know they did they did due diligence to honor the people that had been on that property not just the owners but the slaves themselves and the person that that particular plantation went into ruin for like I think it was like, I don't know, somewhere around 15 years, I can't remember exactly, and, and a woman came in from Texas and bought it, and then completely renovated everything and tried to take it back to its original um, style, and um, 
Anyways, it was just amazing. We were really, really, we've been there before. We had been there years ago when our older kids were young and um, and just haven't been back since all of Katrina and whatnot. And we weren't sure if it was even still standing. And my oldest daughter found it and said, we have to go. So, hold on, I have one more thing. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. How many of y'all have seen these at um, Hobby Lobby? Well, of course, I didn't even think about it. So I got ready to pack and I thought, you're such a weirdo. You have everything that matches the same. <laughs> let me let me not get so close to you guys. Sorry, guys. Um, anyways, long story short, absolutely. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you seasick there. Absolutely loved these. This sat on top of this and that was my carry-on. And so I'm going to get that out of the way since it's right in your face. Um, it has one, two large sections. I've taken out my Bible studies and stuff. Um, I have my bullet journal and, you know, I carried some other goodies in here. A lot of my Bible study stuff and um, all these pockets. Um, this is where my nail polish sat. Or, wait a minute, is it right there? One of these pockets had my nail polish on the trip and it fit down in it. I'm not, you know, I'm not able to look down in it so I don't mess you guys up too much. But anyway, so nail polish, extra glasses. Let me see. What did I do? I think these are readers. Yep, these are my crazy readers. Aren't they funny? Anyway, so, um, and there's that same toddy towel. Love them. And that fit in there perfectly. And then, more pockets. Pockets, pockets, more pockets. That's where the, that's where the polish went. was right in there. Or maybe there. Yeah, that was it. I had everything completely packed full. And, yes, I did take an orange peeler to Florida. We're cutting kind of oranges. I had to be prepared. So anyways, um, and this stuff, if you haven't seen this, this is great when you travel with other people. Um, it's called Poopery. The, the commercials are obnoxious, but um, it's like an essential oil spray. And you're supposed to, you know, spray it when you go to the ladies' room. But um, I also just sprayed it in the car uh, occasionally just to get some fresh air. A lot of people together packed in occasionally need that. I also took lots of these kinds of things in case, the, you know, my kids need it. Lots of little bits and pieces. So, long story short, um, hands down, loved this bag. Two handles, easy peasy. I just bought these cute little organizers I showed in a previous video. And I just had everything just packed down in there. And um, this also fit right down in there. And it worked out great. Um, I cannot say how easy this was. I also carried a pull cart, you know, one of those like briefcase on wheels things. And that's what I had my main laptop in. So my lap, my, that went underneath uh, in the floorboard before me. This sat on top of that. And then this little baby sat on top of that. And that's how I traveled. That's exactly, um, that way I could pull stuff out and do what I needed to do. Um, now my purse, that was always kind of a wiggle in, and sometimes I just did something like that, and that's all I did, and put my purse in my suitcase. But, um, it, this is a, I got this at Hobby Lobby, got it on sale, and it was great. Okay, guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I cannot thank you guys enough for all the kind words and encouragement you guys sent while we were traveling. Um, we had a great conference. We had a great family trip. Um, you know, like any trip, you have your bumps, but we enjoyed every minute of it. We made wonderful friends. Um, we'll definitely be back to Obrix. Um, there are just some wonderful things that we experienced while we were there, and um, we just, you know, couldn't have uh, had a better time. So, anyways, I hope that some of these travel tips, um, or there's something you might get out of it. You probably have better ideas, so if you do... Leave a comment. Encourage me. Teach me what you know. Um, I love getting feedback. And um, if you're not subscribed and you would, this channel would encourage you, please feel free to subscribe. Um, it's a great group of people. I was sitting doing comments last night, and there are times I'm almost just in tears. People are so sweet and kind and so much information and so much um, just good stuff. You guys are amazing. So... Anyways, thank y'all so, so much. I hope your day is just blessed and creative and lovely. And I just thank you so much for stopping by. And um, I will be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.